Hey there, thanks for tuning into Duck Bricks. I'm Chris, and today we're going to be counting down the top 10 best new LEGO pieces introduced on March 1st, 2024. Now, March 1st introduced a ton of brand new LEGO sets across Speed Champions, Harry Potter, Star Wars, Technic, and across all of those, we got an insane amount of brand new pieces. If you're curious about the full list, you can check out the list of all the pieces that we got on New Elementary linked in the description below. But today, we're going to be counting down my top 10 favorites. And how exactly did I classify this? Well, I'm talking the most useful pieces, the most interesting, the most detailed. There's only one caveat, though. I am only counting pieces that are brand new and not minifigure components. No minifigure components because honestly there are so many new minifigure pieces that get introduced every single wave and I just figured it might not be the most exciting if I were to go down like every single cool Ninjago armor or helmet piece or sword that I like. And second, I'm not counting recolors because that opens up a whole other can of worms, although I will say we did get a ton of really great recolors including the return of some discontinued elements. Yes light gray Technic pin axle converters are back after having not been in sets since like 2005 so that's super exciting but for this list we're really just going to be focusing on pieces that are brand new brand new molds and specifically for building or detail and without further ado let's jump in to number 10. All right, so coming in at number 10 is a rather strange new part that has dominated most of the discussion of new parts for March of 2024 it's a part that has a lot of potential future applications, but also is simultaneously boxed in by its limitations, and that is the sound brick 4x4 with random talking sorting hat sounds. Now, so far, this only comes in the medium lavender color, and I wouldn't expect it to come in really any other color, and it comes in set number 76429 talking sorting hat with a part ID of 102723. Now what's so special about this? Well this is to date the most advanced sound brick that LEGO has ever done. They experimented with sound bricks around 2006 to 2008, starting off by including one as a motor in one of the creator motorcycle sets, we got it in a LEGO agent set to sound off an alarm, we got it as the sound of an alien mothership in a grand carousel, but those were all pretty much just single sounds. This is a little bit more interesting, because this has random sounds that every time you press a button, the sorting hat will say something different, and it has quite a few different sounds built in. Technologically speaking, it's a fairly simple circuit, they basically just have a list of random voices to play, and you press a button and it randomly selects from any one of those items, but because of that and the development effort that goes into making this, the set that it's included in is rather expensive, and a lot of people are thinking it's pretty overpriced, especially given what you get, only because this sound brick is included. It's a really cool idea for a LEGO part to actually have random sounds built in, and I can foresee a ton of really useful applications for the sound brick in the future if the sorting hat set does well, but it definitely is a big trade-off because first of all, it's kind of a strange color. Medium lavender is clearly designed to make the brick stand out as something special, but because of that, unless you're building a fairly big item, it's kind of hard to hide it away. The previous sound brick was either light gray or transparent clear, making it a lot easier to tuck away inside models. This is a lot larger and also kind of a, an offensive color. It's just very obvious to see, so it's hard to fit into builds, and it also is a lot more expensive than other previous sound brick sets would have been just because of the nature of how it works. We'll have to see if this is something that will remain exclusive to the talking sorting hat. If I were to guess that unless that set does really badly, LEGO probably has a few other ideas as to where they can use a sound brick because I doubt they would develop this much time, energy, mold budget, and everything into a one-off piece that is only used in one set, but we're gonna have to wait and see in terms of what other sets LEGO will include a brick like this in. The reason why it's number 10 is while it is very, very cool, it's very niche and I don't really see a lot of other potential applications for it outside of very specific things, which is why it's sitting at number 10 on the list. Moving onwards from that, we can take a look at number 9. And at number 9, we have part ID 5260. This is window 4x3 lattice with rounded top. Now, this is part of a series of alternate doors and windows introduced as a system for LEGO Animal Crossing. But personally, I chose this rounded window as my personal pick for this list because I feel like the rounded window offers the most unique things that you would be able to see in a window piece introduced for this year. Whereas the previous window they introduced for the theme is more rectangular 
rectangular and can be kind of replicated with the regular blinds that are openable, this one fulfills a very unique purpose because it actually fits underneath archways and acts as a rounded window, making it just that much more useful in making buildings. Currently it comes in two different colors, Dark Azure in 77049 Isabel's House Visit, and Dark Orange in 77050 Nook's Cranny and Rosie's House, and I'm personally excited to see if this will remain exclusive to the Animal Crossing theme, or maybe we'll see it pop up in city sets or some other sets here and there. We're gonna have to wait and see, but I'm sure builders making realistic style houses are gonna love to get their hands on this. Moving onwards to number 8, we have another LEGO building element. This is door 1x4x6 with window, wood structure. Currently, it only comes in one set in reddish brown, set number 10332, the Medieval Town Square, although by the time this video comes out, they probably will have revealed it in the D&D set as well, and really, this is just something that's super useful for medieval and fantasy style builds. The part ID is 5466, I'm very much looking forward for it to appear on Pick a Brick, and this is just a really useful medieval castle style door that is a nice addition to the collection of medieval doors that LEGO has been putting out since the early days of LEGO Castle, but we haven't really gotten the modern one until now, so personally, I really like it because it just opens the door, haha, <laughs> literally speaking, for more LEGO Castle style builds. Moving onwards to number 7, I'm kind of cheating with this one, but I've included two parts on this item, and that's because these two parts are very similar. They are Technic Panel Dome 11x11 11 11 with pinholes, and Technic Panel Dome 5x5 5 5 with pinholes. This is part of a new system of these rounded, spherical style Technic pieces that somewhat resemble the LEGO Star Wars Planet builds that we got back in 2012, where they were kind of these round hemisphere style of pieces, but they're just a lot more useful because they actually have pinholes and axle attachments on them, making it easier to integrate these into builds. The 11x11 version only comes in flame yellowish orange in set number 42179, Planet Earth and Moon in Orbit, and the 5x5 version comes in blue printed for the Earth globe in that same set, as well as in white unprinted, which I'm sure is going to be a lot more useful, in 42180 Mars Crew Exploration Rover. Having a piece that integrates with Technic pieces that actually is a very nice and round spherical piece is just going to be super useful for Mox, and I for one am very curious to see what the Bionicle community does with pieces like this. Moving onwards from that, we have our next piece, and get ready because this list is about to get admittedly pretty Speed Champions heavy. And there's a reason for that, because Speed Champions has introduced a ton of new pieces. The first one here is Bracket 1x26-2x6 Inverted. That's a really, really wacky name for a bracket, but basically what this is, it's part ID 5090, it comes in black in 76922 BMW M4 GT3 and BMW M Hybrid V8 race cars, as well as 76920 Ford Mustang Dark Horse sports car, and it comes in red in 76921 Audi S1 e-tron Crotro race car. Now, this is a really special bracket because it fulfills a very unique purpose to be able to side mount pieces while still not compromising on the number of studs you're using on the interior of builds. It is admittedly a very, very niche build. It's a really, really niche piece, but it's a useful bracket because it achieves a lot of things that were previously not possible, especially when making small-scale LEGO cars. With Speed Champions, it's used to form the sides of the vehicles themselves, which is really useful because you can still seat two minifigures in the vehicles without their arms or limbs conflicting with the space inside the vehicle because of a bracket like this. It's just one of the most compact brackets that is somewhat large scale that LEGO does produce, and that's why I really like it. Moving on from that though, we have another part introduced for Speed Champions. At number 5, we have Slope Curved 1x4 with Stud Notch, and this is again sort of cheating because this is the left and right version of the piece. That's something you're going to see a lot throughout this list, is that I've included the left and right versions of the piece because it just makes sense. And this is part ID 5414 or 5415. It currently comes in three colors, black in the 76919 2023 McLaren Formula 1 car, as well as 76922, the BMW 2-pack. It comes in orange in the same McLaren set, and it comes in white in the BMW set. So all in all, it comes across multiple different Speed Champions cars, and again, this is just a really interesting and useful new curved element that 
admittedly is pretty niche, you're basically taking the existing 1x4 slope element but curving it downwards, which is really interesting to see how that actually functions in the sets themselves. So it kind of causes you to allow that to be tapered off, which I'm sure is going to be super useful in other sets and other mocks. Obviously, this is a part that's been developed specifically for speed champions, but I would imagine by halfway through the year or maybe even next year, it's going to start really popping up in existing sets which I'm really excited to see and that's why it is appearing on the list. But moving on from that, we have yet another arguably even more useful part, also hailing from Speed Champions, it's part ID 5093 or 5095 for the left and right versions of slope curved 2x2 with stud notch. This is a little bit more useful than the other piece in my opinion because it's just more compact, it allows you to curve and taper off the existing 2x2 slope elements which is really useful, and it comes in a ton of colors as well. In black you can get it in the McLaren Formula 1 color as well as the BMW set. In blue, it also comes in the BMW set. In red, you can get it in the Audi set. In printed, light bluish gray, it comes in the same Audi set. And in white, you can get it in the BMW set. So again, a part that's currently exclusive to Speed Champions, but one that is so useful in being able to taper off those 2x2 two two slope elements that I'm sure it's going to appear across many different colors throughout the rest of LEGO's portfolio in the years to come. And I really like how they've taken this opportunity to really flesh out their curved slope library, especially because that is a series of pieces that we've pretty much just been getting standard slopes for, and finally we're getting pieces that actually taper off into smaller elements, making it just that much more useful of a subfamily within LEGO Elements. And moving on from that, we can take a look at number three, and the top three are getting pretty crazy. At number three, we deviate finally from Speed Champions and get to this part, 5520 is the tile round 2x2 half circle, also known as the D tile. It currently only comes in one set in medium nougat, 43242 Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Cottage, and this is really useful because it technically is a part made out of other parts. You can put together existing pieces like the 1x2 curved piece or the 1x1 quarter dots pieces and then a 1x2 tile to kind of make this piece an amalgamation, but this basically removes the lines in between pieces. It's just so much easier to make pieces like that by utilizing these tiles. The parts usage in the set is fairly strange and tucked away. You can only see it being used for the foot posts of the beds for each of the seven dwarves, although I guess it was a necessity to create a new piece for that because they did want to display it like it is in the movie and also be able to use a sticker that goes across the entire piece, meaning they couldn't just have it be split over different pieces. It's really interesting how they actually created a piece seemingly just for this, but I'm very curious to see where the piece will pop up in the future because obviously this one's high on the list because it is a pretty ubiquitous piece, and a bedpost is not the initial thing that I would have thought it to be used for. I can see it for roof shingles or tiles or just detail elements, and that's why I feel like this one definitely deserves to be higher on the list because there are so many potential uses for a new tile piece. But moving on from that, let's take a look at number two, and... It was very, very difficult choosing between my number two and number one picks because both of these are probably some of the most useful LEGO pieces we have gotten in maybe years, and I do not say that lightly. The first piece here is Tile 1x2 with Stud Notch, and I'm including the left and right versions of the piece. 5091 and 5092 are the part IDs. And this is so useful because you're taking the version of this part that currently only exists in a slope format and basically flattening it down to a tile, opening up a ton of possibilities. It also comes in a ton of colors. In black, you can get it in pretty much every single Speed Champion set that came out this wave. So if you buy one, you're guaranteed to get one of these in black. The BMW, the Ford Mustang, the 2023 McLaren, the Audi, as well as the Polybag. Even the Polybag Formula One car has one of these. So it's pretty crazy just how prevalent it is in black across the entire Speed Champions wave. It also comes in orange in that 2023 McLaren Formula One car. It comes in red in the BMW and Audi. It comes in dark dark bluish gray in the Audi and the Ford, it comes in transparent red in the BMW, transparent yellow in the BMW, it comes in white in the BMW as well as the McLaren MP4-4 and Artin Senna, which is actually a Creator Expert Icons vehicle set, deviating from the Speed Champions line. 
Whew, that is a lot of sets that this is included in, and it's for good reason, because clearly LEGO invested a lot into making this part really useful and really successful, and I am very happy they included it because this just opens the door for all sorts of custom floor tile patterns, or greebling on spaceships or details. It just is really cool to get a piece like this. It's something that I think a lot of people have been asking for for years, and I'm very happy that every single one of the sets includes both the left and the right version of the piece. Even if it is only visible in one color for the left side or the right side, they have managed to bury in the opposing side in case you want to use the pieces for something else. It's a policy that LEGO has. If you include like the right version of a piece, you have to include the left version as well. And I'm really happy they did that because it opens up the possibilities for builders to be able to get these and not have to wait until they appear in different colors for some other sets. Moving onwards though, I think it's time we take a look at number one. And I will have to say, I was shown an early copy of the set back in September of last year, and it has been incredibly hard keeping this a secret because I lost my mind when I saw this. The LEGO designer who was with me that day can attest that I absolutely freaked out when I saw this. I was so excited because this is the Slope 18 Degrees 2 by one by 2 thirds part, which is part ID 5404, and... As you can clearly see, this is basically the grill slope that we got years ago. We got this version of the slope, but with a grill in it, but without the grill. That has been consistently one of my biggest problems with the elongated cheese slope piece. Why does every single version of it have a grill? For years, I thought LEGO would never make it. I thought that if LEGO was going to make it, they would have done it already, but no. They finally have done it. The, the mad lads over at the Speed Champions design team have necessitated the creation of this piece. And thank goodness, I am so happy they did that because this is so, so useful. It at first doesn't seem like a huge difference, right? You might be wondering, okay, well, it's either with a grill or without a grill. How useful is that? But there's actually a lot of applications where it does not make sense to have the grill integrated into a piece like this. If you're using it for a more organic shaping, it doesn't make sense to have that more mechanical detailing on it. If you're trying to use it to capture a very unique angle in a set where it's crucial, that maybe in your mock you need it to blend in with the rest of the pieces, well it immediately stands out because it has that grill piece on it. This is so useful, it is so nice, I cannot wait for it to come in like dark bluish gray so we can use it for rock work or light gray. That's gonna be amazing, I'm sure that's coming, but it's so great. Right now it comes in black in the 2023 McLaren Formula 1 car, it comes in blue in the BMW set, it comes in white in the BMW set as well, and it also comes in bright light blue in a Harry Potter set, 76424, the Flying Ford Anglia, which is a nice departure from Speed Champions, but it's also a car along that size, so clearly this was made for cars first, but obviously, it opens the door to so many things, and without spoiling anything, I will say that there are a lot of sets coming out later this year that use this to great effect, and I was just so overjoyed to see this during the preview days in September. And with that, that about sums up our countdown of the top 10 best and most useful new elements introduced this year in March. As usual, if you want to see the full list, you can go ahead and check out New Elementary linked in the description below. It is really helpful because they actually comb LEGO's database and collate all of the new pieces. And again, this list did not include any animals or minifigure pieces. We got a lot of really cool new minifig pieces with Ninjago and Animal Crossing. We also got a lot of adorable new animals like a baby dragon as well as a dog in a special kind of pug form. So there's a lot of really cool stuff that came out in March, plus a ton of useful new Technic elements that were used in the Kawasaki motorcycle that are very technical and obviously are huge gets for the Technic fans. So, this is just barely scratching the surface of the amount of new pieces that we got for this particular wave of LEGO Speed Champions, Ninjago, Creator, Icons, Harry Potter, Star Wars. A lot of sets just had a ton of new pieces for March. I'm very happy with them and I'm so curious to know which are your favorite new pieces. Let me know in the comments down below. 
All right, and with that, we have summed up the top 10 best new LEGO elements that were released for March 1st, 2024. Let me know down in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? What are your favorite pieces that came out this past month? And I hope you enjoyed this kind of video because people loved it when I did the January one, and I definitely will be doing stuff like this for future months, especially those with big LEGO releases. So expect another one that probably is going to hit around June because I'm sure there's going to be a ton of exciting new LEGO sets released then. That's all for now. Thank you so much for tuning into Duck Bricks. Be sure to like and subscribe for even more LEGO news, reviews, discussion, and analyses coming your way very soon. Thanks so much, and bye for now.